So it doesn't feel like too long has passed since the original Sonic the Hedgehog film came out, and yet here we are with the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 trailer for a film that's coming out in a matter of months. It's April next year, how insane is that? Uh, but I don't want to ramble for too long, I want to watch this and I want to analyse this. Now, during the main reaction portion of this, I may be a bit silent. Um, I'm not a reactor or a reaction channel, this isn't my forte, but analysis, that's where I shine. So, stick around past the reaction to see what I think of this as we go through it step by step. But anyways, let's get to watching this. Oh, here we go. Okay, chili dog. I like it. Sonic, I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? Okay, so he seems to be trying to be a vigilante. Pretending to be Batman, Blue Justice, trademark pending. Okay. You're still just a kid. Trust me. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm guessing that's Eggman. But you don't choose that moment. That moment what chooses the hell? you. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? <sighs> oh, there he is! There he is! Oh, he looks so good. Yes, you do. Since I've been gone, I've discovered the source of ultimate power. Whoa, that's the Master Emerald! That sounds big. It's been on my vision board for years. Okay, we've got the Master Emerald, we've got oh his classic look, you. and we've got Tails oh, here. Who are you? Name's Tails. And oh, the Tornado. Man. This is what we're gonna do. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. Okay, yeah, that definitely sounds like Colleen. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Today's forecast calls for a 100% chance Okay. Of Oh, that Master Emerald Shrine looked great. Alright, that was pretty cool as well. It, you're never going to get my power. <gasps> it's Knuckles! It's Knuckles! Do I look like I need your power? Yes! <laughs> Jesus, that's all I wanted! Where? Oh, he I looks so good! Sonic, meet Knuckles. <laughs> He looks so good! Is that it? Are we gonna get post credits? So well after scene I suppose it is. Uh no we're not. Uh oh don't don't you just love that face there? Just staring at you? That's nice. Uh that was insane. Oh god, there's so much to unpack the Okay, I suppose let's hop to the beginning and slowly make our way through. I want to, I, I want to get to talking about uh, Knuckles, but all right, let's just take this step uh, by step. Uh, all right, so yeah. Snack here go. Yeah, so at the beginning he seems to be trying to be a vigilante here, um, because you know there's. Uh, Eggman's out of the picture, well, up until now, but he's out of the picture, so Sonic would want something to do. And it seems like, um, uh, good old Donut Lord here is trying to tell, uh, you know, Sonic that he's being a bit too reckless, and that's kind of what I expect from Sonic at this point, because again, this is a slightly younger take, uh, on Sonic, and actually, to get this out of the way now, because this is a question that I've, uh, uh, been asked uh, multiple times by um, several people. Well, I say several. It was like three or four. Because not too many people were asking about this. Uh, they had their opinions on it, but uh, people asked me, what do I think about uh, Sonic's character in the movie? And I'm going to do my own um, video on the movie uh, at some point. Don't know when. I have way too many videos lined up already. Um, but I think that Sonic's character was pretty decent there. Uh, nothing incredible and definitely a far cry from what we got in the games, but again, because it's a completely separate universe from the main canon and it's entirely, um, well, different, I can allow for character changes and I can uh, go, yeah, alright, 
I don't mind, you know, Sonic being changed to be a bit more um, childlike over here. Uh, and, you know, we'll see what they do with the other characters as well. You know, Eggman's a bit more loose, if that's the right word. Uh, he, he seems a little bit more crazy, uh, but that's not a bad thing because that fits uh, Jim Carrey and the way that Jim Carrey delivers his lines. So, yeah, again, character changes, I don't mind if they're out of, uh, you know, the main canon. Uh, if you do what the 2010 Sonic did and completely butcher whatever was, well, whatever it is you already had, then you've got a problem with me. But let's get back to this trailer. Uh, yeah, so Sonic posing. By the way, mentioning Batman, you know... <laughs> Gone has extra respect for me because, as we all know, Batman is the uh, best. <laughs> is the best superhero, oh well, antihero in some cases. You, know, it's not. It's it's. This isn't a Batman Trust movie. Me, there will come a moment when your powers will be needed. Actually, right here as well. Let's talk about this. Uh, so he says he talks about a moment where the power is going to be needed. Um, is it right here? needed right here okay so you can see uh, look at the logo over here is my mouse yeah my mouse is on there um you can see that this is uh these are gun soldiers uh and this seems to be i guess uh the equivalent to the uh, leader of gun like the one from uh, shadow the hedgehog uh, i can't get a good look at the pupil so i can't see if they're different colors or not uh, but yeah, it's nice to know that they're acknowledging Gun already, so that tells me that at some point they might actually, uh, you know, uh, do some stories based around the adventure series, and then, you know, maybe we'll get, finally, we'll get Big the Cat uh, on movie, because, you know, that that's all we really want in life. Uh, oh, that uh, that giant tornado as well. Like, okay, I'm gonna keep pausing it like this, I'm sorry if this gets annoying for you. Um, that giant tornado... It looks green, and as we, God damn it, and as we saw, um, there was the Master Emerald that appeared later uh, in this trailer. Um, so is this being, is this some sort of Eggman machine that's being fueled by the ma by the power of the Master Emerald? Uh, I don't know. We, there's plenty to talk about there because it looks like once again, uh, you know, Eggman is tricking Knuckles. Um, they seem to be on the same side. I say they seem to be, they are on the same side. I mean, uh, you know, Eggman practically, in, well, Eggman does introduce him. Um, but we'll get to talking about that just later. Let's keep going with this for now. Moment chooses you. I just got goosebumps. Yep. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? Yeah, there's the egg shuttle, I think, which has something to do with egg. I like this, by the way. Actually, let's take a, let's take a look here. Okay, so first off, um, he's working in what seems to be a coffee shop, uh, which is great continuity for his character with the whole um, steamed Austrian goat milk thing that happened in the last film. Uh, let's try and read here. Is there anything here? Cappuccino, flat white, latte, morachino, homemade baked, uh, coffee, mean brew. Is that is that a reference to something? Is that a reference to Mean Bean? To have Mean Brew? If that's a reference to Mean Bean, then, uh, you know, the <laughs> this movie has garnered extra respect for me, because Mean Bean is a, a very underrated game. I love that game. It's basically Sonic the Hedgehog Puyo Puyo. Uh, don't seem to see anything else here. Mean House Blend. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm guessing it, ha it has to be. Come on, it has to be a reference to Mean Bean Machine, right? He's back and just. Oh, he looks so good here. Like, look at that. I mean, I was kind of expecting him to, you know, start to put on weight. Uh, but then again, this is a different Eggman, a different Robotnik. So maybe this is one that uh, doesn't put on weight. It seems kind of strange, I know, but, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't, I like the design, but I, I, I guess I'm, what I'm trying to say is maybe if we start moving in the direction of more of a more traditional Eggman design, you know, just to uh, really give us a reason to call him Eggman, um, based off the shape of his body, 
and it looks like the robots from the first film uh, and well the robots in this film are keeping the design of the robots from the first film uh, which is kind of disappointing i mean the robots in the first film aren't bad but like forces it's very generic there's nothing really eggmanish or robotnikish about it uh, and i think that that um you know, Eggman's robots uh, are, you know, one of his defining uh, factors. They're, you, you know, they, they almost tr were a transfer of his personality. Um, and, I mean, you know, these kind of look like, uh, what are they called, Buzz Bombers? Um, uh, what was the old bad nick called? I think it was Buzz Bombers. I'm not going to go look it up now. Um, so it looks like maybe they're moving in the direction of looking more and more like uh, Eggman's traditional uh, badniks. And uh, if that's the case, and as we go through movie, more and more movies, uh, Eggman's character keeps changing to be more and more and more like the video game character. And then eventually we get um, these robots looking like that. And that's fine. I think that would work out. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going with this. Uh, yep, looking great. Seems like they're gone. I discovered the source of ultimate power. Here it is. Alright, so this has to be the uh, Master Emerald. But look at this. Even the Master Emerald, it looks so uh, nice here. You can see the sort of scuffs and scratches. You can tell that it's a very old jewel. It's a very storied uh, jewel. It's not just something that's brand new. Um, and I think that's uh, really awesome, actually. Like, even near the bottom here, you can see the scuff marks. But let's keep going. That sounds big been on my vision board for years. Yep. Hope I'm not too this isn't just me, right? Like, I had this feeling at the back of my head when I saw this, the f uh, when I just saw this uh, before and during the reaction part. But does Tails here look a little more... Okay, well, a little less colourful. He... he doesn't look as orange as he did in the previous... Um trailer does he i don't know maybe that's just me uh he still looks great don't get me wrong but uh, if i'm right then yeah he does look a tiny bit more washed out here and i think you know considering you you have access to all this brilliant looking cgi and this is brilliant looking cgi uh you know you could have really you know created a much greater contrast between the sonic characters and the human world by using you know their colors uh, to their advantage. Uh, but he still looks great, don't get me wrong. I'm sorry, who are you? The tornado's great, seeing Sonic okay. and uh, Tails ride the tornado uh, together is great, giving me serious um, classic Sonic vibes here, I'm loving it. Hell, it's giving me Sonic Adventure 1 vibes and I'm loving it. Um, but there's also this line right here that Tails does say, listen closely. Right, so that tells us that uh, in this case, Tails didn't know who Sonic was, uh, which is uh, interesting. So this is technically the origin of their meeting for this movie universe. Just something to point do. out. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. Yeah, just Sonic being Sonic. Uh, again, it's just like, that looks like more bad. fun action sequences. Uh, <laughs> boy, that was a nice shot. Uh, uh, right here, the planes. Um, this background. There's a lot of trees here. Are they? Are they in another world here? This doesn't look like they're in Sonic's world per se. Sonic's world looked a little bit more abstract. Um, but this doesn't look like uh, Green Hills either. So, you know, uh. They could be on a different world. Again, Sonic still has a bunch of rings that he can access, so maybe uh, he takes this fight elsewhere. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, it looks like they're going through some kind of labyrinth here. The swinging uh, thing. Um, oh wow, that actually that that <laughs> that looks so. Looks so adorable. Why does that look so adorable? I, I I reckon I reckon there are people who are gonna draw art of that. 
yeah, I don't know. Could be. Yeah, that's another thing that I want to say about Tails here, actually. From what I've seen, it looks like Tails' character is returning a bit to form. But again, this is a younger Tails, and this seems to be more based on a Tails from Sonic 2, Sonic 3. So there's still a little bit of confidence there. But um, he's still, at least in this film, more of the cute sidekick character, uh, which is fine for the original introduction here. Uh, you know, as long as there's still that little bit of confidence that he still goes on these adventures with Sonic and still helps out Sonic. Um, and, you know, as long as he's not a blothering mess like he is in fucking Sonic Forces. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like a bit of a return to form. And I, and I can get behind that uh, 100%. This looks like it's going to be the best Tales we've ever gotten. Uh, not we've ever gotten, but um, that we've gotten since, the you know, the 2010s kicked off. Um, actually, just a bit before the 2010s, actually. Uh, but also here, we've got, um... Guys, I don't want this analysis to go on too long, but there's just so much here. They showed us a lot. Um, Sonic snowboarding from Eggman's uh, mechs, that's fine. It looks a lot like, um... Uh, Ice Cap Zone from Sonic Adventure. Uh, you know that snowboarding segment at the end? It actually looks very much like it. Again, there's only a few seconds. Uh, right here, this was just cool. Like, <laughs> that was just cool, him grabbing that. Oh, but here's the fucking Bowser. This looks great, by the way, with the uh, rain and everything, and Sonic um, charging up his power over here. Uh, and then just goes in. The way Knuckles catches him, oh my god. He looks so good. Like, you can even see right here, just from the furrows uh, just above his nose between his eyes and the way his uh, eyebrows furrow as well. Uh, it's such a good design. In fact, you can see like the little water particles here just sort of hanging off the uh, little hairs on uh, his head and it just looks so good. And... Do I... Alright, before we talk about this voice here, <laughs> for, for one second, just look at this for one second. Look at that beautiful contrast between uh, the red and blue and just Knuckles' stature as well. Uh, Knuckles here, I, I, I love that Knuckles doesn't look super... He doesn't look super thin, um, but he doesn't look super big like he did in Boom. Like, in the main series, you had to kind of take Sonic Team's word for it that Knuckles was the strong one. Luckily, uh, you know, you got shown this constantly um, through what he did in cutscenes and in gameplay and stuff. You know, like how he just walks through um, walls that Sonic would have to either spin dash through or couldn't break through in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, but yeah, again, this just looks, his design here is just, uh, it might be my favorite Knuckles design, I'm not even gonna lie to you, it looks, uh, incredible. Um, they even, they even got this, um, half, sort of, cre crescent moon thing going on, uh, and I love that, uh, because, um, I don't, I don't talk about leaks on this channel, and I don't talk about, you know, set footage and stuff on this channel, but I do... Um, keep up with it from time to time and I did see the sort of knuckle stand-in they had on set and that didn't have the um, Crescent on it and That got me worried that uh, oh boy. What have they done to knuckles design? You know if we got that uh, Gangsters Paradise torture device from the first very first trailer for the first film then You know who's to say they wouldn't do the same with knuckles, but knuckles looks great here He does and just this voice as well. Let's skip back and just check this out I look like I need your power. Oh my god. Um, first off, that voice just goosebumps. <laughs> oh my god. It sounds, it doesn't sound like, um, you know, previous Knuckles voices. It doesn't sound like his current game voice. It doesn't sound like Dan Green's delivery. Um, it sounds very much, um, unique to this. I was not expecting that voice, to be fair. Um, when it was, when it was announced as Idris Elba, I was expecting more of a sort of cool, um, slightly lower toned Knuckles, but this is just like fucking sinister. Like, just listen to that. Do I look like I need your power? He, he sounds straight up villainous here, which, um, works, because it looks like he's going to be 
one of the main antagonists uh, in this film, uh, which is uh, awesome. <laughs> Genuinely, I can't wait to see Knuckles on the big screen. Where are my manners? Can we just, again, another shout out for Jim Carrey. Just look at this man. Where are my manners? I also love the um, consistency with the broken goggles. And that's the entire trailer. Um, yeah, <laughs> so much to unpack there. Uh, even then, I don't think I talked about everything. Um, you know, there is... I, I'm, I'm very interested by this whole, like, sort of labyrinth thing that they're going through. Is this, like, um... Fuck, what was that level from Sonic uh, Adventure? You know, the one that you had to go through that was sort of uh, inside that giant uh, build... I, I'll put footage of it up on the screen. I can't remember it right now. My mind is blanking. But uh, it kind of reminds me of that. I think it was called um, Lost World or something like that. Um, but yeah, it, it was... Uh, it kind of reminded me of that. And... Wait, hang on one sec. Is, I just... <laughs> I just noticed this now. Is that an owl? Is that an owl? That looks like an owl. I'm... Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that is an owl. So, are, are they back on Sonic's home home world then? Because, you know, Longclaw um, was there. Longclaw was an owl. Is, is they back on Sonic's world? I mean, I doubt, you know, Batman's Court of Owls are here. So, it, ha it, has, to do, it has to have something to do with that. Um, but yeah, there isn't too much more that I can possibly add to this to make this video go on longer. Uh, just, oh my god, Knuckles, man, Knuckles. There is nothing more that I can say right now about this Knuckles. Just, it's too perfect from this trailer anyways, from this like 10 seconds of footage. Um, you know... I, my, my, my most recent video uh, in terms of the character analysis was uh, Knuckles <laughs> from badass to dumbass. And now I think with this film, I can safely say that it's Knuckles from dumbass to badass again. <laughs> How fucking cool is this knuckles but anyways uh you know i can sit here and fanboy over this knuckles and because this is what i've been waiting for for like however many years it's been now for 15 years uh i've been waiting for a you know a, a great knuckles again we got it uh well it looks like we're getting it again this is just trailer footage uh but i'm i'm now more hopeful than i'm more excited to watch this movie than i was before um uh, yeah, I can't wait for this film to come out now, but oh, it's it's it looks great uh, And that leads me to the end of this video. So uh, what are your th that's a that's a horrible thing to end this video Let's, let's end it here. That's a nice one uh, So what are your thoughts on the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 trailer? Um, you know, you don't have to leave a giant paragraph, but uh, I, I think it looks great. <laughs> the CGI looks incredible. It looks like we're getting a bit more of a focus on, um, you know, Sonic uh, and the characters from his world. And it looks like um, the humans are taking a step back, which is something that I want to see. I want to see more of Sonic's world explored in the Sonic movies. Um, you know, I have nothing against the human worlds, and human worlds can sometimes be great. Like, I love the human world in Adventure, Adventure 2, Unleashed. Uh, you know, they all do it brilliantly. Um, but sometimes I do just want to focus on Sonic's world and it looks like, uh, well, even if we're not going to get the focus on Sonic's world, we're definitely going to get more of a focus on the characters. Uh, you know, Jim Carrey looks great. Knuckles, mwah, this beautiful. Uh, Sonic looks like he's carrying on with that same trademark Sonic-iness that we got in the, uh, first Sonic film. Uh, and Tails looks like he's gonna have a bit of a return to form with his more classic character, uh, in that he's got a bit of confidence behind him, but he's still that cute, cuddly sidekick. Um, and yeah, I can't wait for this film. But if you did like this video, hit like. Simple as that. If you really liked this video, 
uh, and you want to see more content then the subscribe button is the best way to go also turning on notifications helps um but that's pretty much it from me thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time